Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a string to an integer. Now, you might be wondering, how can a string be converted to an integer? Now, it's not the traditional way you'll probably be thinking of if you're searching this video, but I'm going to explain it to you. So, here I've got a simple program. Name equals input, what is your name? Age equals input into your age, please. If you don't know what the inputs are, go back to my earlier videos and that will explain it well. And then you come back to this video and hopefully you understand what this means. So I've got just two inputs, name and age. So if I want to input name plus age plus five, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go up, run, and run string to into string, whatever. What's your name? Let's say this as an example, enter your age, 10. Trace back, most recent call, blah, blah, blah. So here we've got this error. Line five in module. Uh, print name plus age plus five. Type error must be string, not int. So the th issue is when it comes to adding the five to it. So let's remove the plus five and then we'll run it in the top right this time. What's your name? John, age 10. John 10. It prints fine. Now, the reason is if you're going to have it as a string, which is what you're doing now as an input, as you see it as a string, it can't add to an integer. And you might be wondering, why would you want to add 5 to someone's age? Let's make a more realistic program. Let's say you want a username. And you want their username to be their name plus their age plus 176, just to make it random. And you want to change it. You're going to have an error because it doesn't work. Okay, so you do that. Again, error must be string, not int. So a way you solve that is you come here to the age, which is the number, and you type int and then you do that. So you have int input. Now you've seen this in my other videos, but I didn't exactly explain why you do that rather than just input. So you add an int to it and this time it should work. So we type John and we put 10. And it's an error because I don't think this is, hold on, name plus age plus one six. Let's type that again. Yes, that should be better. Just a uh, comma to separate it because then it'll seem like you're trying to add John plus the age plus 176. So yeah, just have the comma there and then you've got it. So what's your name? John, enter your age please, 10 and your username is John186. So it's very, very important if you're going to be working with integers. First of all, name it with an int and make sure you have a bracket afterwards. And then you type your input and then have another bracket to open for the text and then have your two closing brackets. So for every bracket that's open, you have to close it. And then you've got your print and separate each variable if you're going to have letters and numbers, um, integers at the same time because it's just easier that way and you'll be less prone to errors or confusing things happening. So yeah, that's the end of the video. That's how you convert a string to an integer and Yes, it's just some little help that will probably let you use your programming easier. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, try and make your own variation with this code that you've learned. And again, subscribe.